Let's draw a line between stubs, mocks and fades. Sometimes it's hard to differentiate these terms from each other and understand which of these must be implemented at the given scenario. First, let's differentiate them on the basis of the use cases and then we list out the points of differentiation. Starting with stubs and considering a scenario that you have developed an online education platform that has a feature using which the students can upload a PDF format of their completed assignments. The uploaded PDF first goes through file processing and then gets uploaded to the cloud and after the file is saved in the cloud, a success or failure response is returned accordingly. Now if you want to unit test your file processing module, you need to isolate it from its dependencies and the dependency here is the file uploading service. So to temporarily eliminate the dependency, we take the help of a stub which on getting called returns a pre-programmed and hard-coded value that helps you to test your file processing module in isolation. A stub is easy to implement and it is a simulation of a real object. Getting into mocks, let's carry on with the same online education platform, which has a user registration module through which the users can register themselves and on registration, a registration success email is sent to the users via an email sending service. Now say you want to test that upon the registration of a new user, the user registration module calls the email sending service in the correct manner and passes on the correct parameters using which a valid email is sent and also record and compare the number of times these modules interacted with each other according to the test cases executed. So in this case, that is to verify the interaction between the application and services, mocks are used. Sometimes it might be hard to implement a mock. Talking about fakes, Say that your online education platform has some premium content that can only be accessed by the user having paid subscription. And if a regular user tries to access it, they are always redirected to a payment gateway to purchase the subscription. If a user really wants to access the content, they'll make the payment. Now, while testing your application, it's not a feasible approach to use the real payment gateway and make payment every time. In this case, a fake shall be taken into application and should be an alternate working implementation of the real payment gateway. This fake acts just as the payment gateway but doesn't make a money transfer. Therefore, a fake is an alternate implementation of a dependency used when the actual one is not feasible to use. It's hard to implement it and it helps in improving the test performance. Let's recap and list the points of differentiation in a tabular format. Stubs are used to isolate actual code from dependencies while testing, whereas a mock verifies interaction between the application and services used in it. And fakes are an alternate implementation of a dependency use when the actual code is impractical to use. Stubs are easy to implement while it might be hard to implement mocks and generally fakes are hard to implement. Stubs simulate real world objects whereas mocks verifies the code behavior and fakes improve the test performance.